डियर स्टूडेंट्स एंड माई टीचर फ्रेंड्स नमस्कार आई वेलकम यू टू द प्रेजेंटेशन लेक्चर ऑन मिक टू रिशन नाउ मिक टू रिशन ऑल्सो नोन एज यूरिनेशन और वॉइडिंग सो इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर बेसिकली वी आर डिस्कसिंग द यूरिनेशन प्रोसेस वॉट इज मिक मिक मिक्टोरिशन दैट वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस दैन वी आर वी विल डिस्कस द मिक्टोरिशन रिफ्लैक्स द कम्पोनेंट्स ऑफ द मिक्टोरिशन रिफ्लैक्स ओके विच आर द स्ट्रक्चर विच कंट्रोल विच आर इन्वॉल्व इन द यूरिनेशन प्रोसेस दैट वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस इन दिस लेक्चर ना वी नो in the kidney urine is formed and uh, with the help of this two ureter urine is transported into the urinary bladder so here you can see the bladder is shown and when this bladder is filled with the urine let's say uh, the volume 200 ml uh, urine is there so when the urinary bladder is having 200 ml or more urine that time we are having an urge for urination okay now in this see this is the ureter this one is the ureter and uh, this is the cross section histological slide they are showing so this is the cross sectional histology of ureter so you can see the lumen then the mucosa is shown which is the transitional epithelium then the muscular is and adventitia is shown now here see this rectangular box so now the wall wall of urinary bladder so here you can see histology of urinary bladder wall so the lumen this is the lumen of urinary bladder then around the lumen first mucosa transitional epithelium and here you can see these are the in the wall <coughs> of the urinary bladder this detrusor muscles are present okay so i am showing you this figure okay read all the names okay anatomy of the urinary tract now first point see uh, act of urination also known as micturition so to understand the act of urination or the micturition uh, we will begin with the infants and very young children okay now we know uh, in infants and young children they don't have uh, control on the urination so the reason is because they have not developed control on voluntary control on the bladder they cannot control their bladder so uh, many a time we see that uh, they spoil their clothes by the urine okay and uh, during the entire day the mother is busy uh, with changing the clothes of the infants and young children okay because the reason is the voluntary bladder control is not developed in them that's why now uh, in infant in infants and very young children here it is uh, the micturition uh, controlled by a relatively simple spinal reflex okay so in infant and uh, young children the micturition process 
for that the urine is uh, for the urine uh, urination process simple spinal micturition the plaques is there and which is controlling this process of urination so uh, first we are going to discuss the involuntary micturition reflex of the infant and young child and this reflex we are going to discuss in uh, step number one to four so uh, in the uh, figure you will see that step number one to four are the involuntary micturition reflex so what happens in infants or the young children so first first point see title involuntary micturition reflex okay now see stath receptors <coughs> detect feeling of bladder so here you can see uh, this is the bladder urinary bladder and uh, when the infant uh, urinary bladder is filled with the urine so uh, this urine pressurizes the wall of the urinary bladder now in the wall in the wall the stretch receptor are present okay so now this stretch receptor which are present in the urinary bladder wall they detect that the bladder is filled with the urine and now this receptor the receptor they transmit efferent they transmit efferent signal to spinal cord so here you can see uh, this is the wall of urinary bladder the stretch receptors are shown and uh, here you can see the name is written stretch receptor now the stretch receptor sends that the bladder is filled with the urine okay and now now the nerve signal is transmitted through sensory fiber sensory fiber and also the motor fiber are the part of pelvic nerve okay so in the pelvic nerve what is happening sensory fiber they are transmitting nerve signal they are sending the nerve signal <coughs> from the stretch receptor in the sacral segment of spinal cord sacral segment uh, s2 s3 and s4 <coughs> region okay so this is the point number one that this stretch receptor detect filling of bladder and they transmit afferent signal to spinal cord and here you can see the sensory fiber sending impulses to the sacral region sacral segment of the spinal cord now now signal return to bladder from the spinal cord so here in the spinal cord you can see this is the interneuron and spinal cord interpreted the signal spinal cord understand that the bladder is filled so now spinal cord take the decision and this decision is in the form of nerve impulse okay so now this nerve impulse the motor signal okay they pass through the motor fiber okay so nerve impulse propagate by the motor fiber so here the second point signal return to the bladder from spinal cord segment s2 and s3 via parasympathetic fiber in pelvic nerve so here you can see these are the these are the parasympathetic fiber and here you can see this is the ganglion they are showing parasympathetic ganglion in the bladder wall so this neuron we can say this neuron so this neuron we can say this is the pre ganglionic neuron and this one is the post ganglionic neuron so now see now post ganglionic neuron they are reaching in the wall of urinary bladder and they are also reaching to this spincher okay this spincher is known as internal 
urethral sphincter so see second point was signal return to bladder from s2 and s3 via paracentric fiber in the pelvic now 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 this signal okay from the motor fiber they excite so these are the e print signal and e print signal excite detrusor muscle which are present in the wall of urinary bladder so now due to the e print signal what is happening the detrusor muscle are excited now e print signal for example this signal relaxing the detrusor muscle and here you see this fiber is innervating the internal urethral sphincter so due to the e print signal what is happening the internal urethral sphincter of the infant is relax so now as the sphincter is relaxed sphincter is open so what happen urine is involuntarily voided if not inhibited by the brain so if the uh, infant or the child's brain is not inhibiting the urination so the child or the infant is going to urinate automatically involuntarily okay so these are the uh, four steps of uh, infant involuntary micturition reflex now uh, now we are uh, discussing the micturition reflex of an adult okay first we are discussing the voluntary uh, control see first point so fifth point now for uh, in case of adult for voluntary control micturition center uh, is present in the pons okay in adult <coughs> the urination or the micturition center is present in pon and this uh, pons receive signal from the stretch receptor so here you can see uh, see adult urinary bladder is filled with uh, 200 ml or more urine so now this urine is pressurizing the urinary bladder wall and now in the bladder wall the stretch receptors are there stretch receptors are stimulated from the stretch receptor the nerve signal pass through the sensory fiber so here the sensory fiber and now now here uh, here there are the tracts okay between the brain and the spinal cord we know uh, the there are the ascending tract so from the ascending tract the impulse reaches to the pons okay now once the nerve signal reach uh, to the pons then what happen see now see if if it is if it is timely to urinate pons return signal to spinal interneuron so here you can see the pons pons is sending the signal to the sacral segment of spinal cord and in the sacral uh, segment so these are the you can understand uh, this signal is propagated by the descending track okay which are located which are present between the brain and the spinal cord so now this uh, from the descending track the impulse enter into the sacral uh, segment and now now the uh, track uh, track fiber they make the connection with the interneuron of the spinal cord okay so now what is happening so if if it is a proper time okay <clears throat> if it is a timely to urinate pon return signal to spinal interneuron and now this signal are going to excite detrusor muscle and relax internal urethral sphincter okay so here you can see once again in adult also these are the motor fiber okay pre ganglionic fiber post ganglionic fiber so this post ganglionic fiber they innervate they enter into the uh, wall of the urinary bladder 
ओके एंड दे आर एक्साइटिंग द डेटासर मसल डेटासर मसल आर एक्साइटेड एंड द ई फ्रंट सिग्नल ऑल्सो रिलैक्सिंग द इंटरनल यूरेथरल स्पिंचर सो नाव नाव वी कैन यूरी नेट ओके सो दिस इज द voluntarily we are urinating okay this is the normal uh, urination process okay now now if it is untimely to urinate <coughs> let's say uh, you are <coughs> in a classroom and your <coughs> physics uh, your physics teacher is delivering the lecture so uh you are since the class is going on and you are not able to take permission for the urination from your teacher or uh, there can be a situation that you are in the bus and you are traveling okay and uh, you are having an urge to urinate so you request the driver that please stop the bus but the driver replies you that um, uh, he cannot stop the bus on the road so he keep driving the bus and you know the drivers are the drivers okay they are not listening anyone any passenger they don't listen generally and uh, by the time they drive their bus and uh, they uh, they listen some antique song okay that is known as driver collection so i didn't know from where they find uh, this antique collection but um, their their songs are unique we never heard those song okay so the basically the driver uh, is not listening us even though we have requested but driver is not stopping the bus so now what we are going to do so we need to control the urination process okay that is the only choice we are having so now in uh, now what is going to happen so see if it is untimely to urinate signal from the cerebrum excite spinal interneuron okay that keep external urethral sphincter contracted okay so here you can see see here okay if it is untimely that time what happens from cerebral contract uh, cerebral cortex the signal first uh, the signal first travel through the descending tract then here the interneuron and then now see this one is the this one is the somatic motor fiber of pudental now so now what is happening so if it is untimely so now the external urethral sphincter is contracted so so we are voluntarily we are voluntarily contracting okay uh, as long as the bus <coughs> as long as the driver is driving this bus so during uh, this journey let's say for 10 10 to 15 minute uh, when the bus is not stopping or you are in the classroom that time you are voluntarily uh, constricting this external urethral sphincter okay so now the sphincter is contracted and urine is retain in the bladder urine is going to remain in the bladder okay when it is untimely and if it is timely to urinate so when your uh, teacher's lecture is over so now uh, you can leave your class and you can use the toilet or uh, or you was you was in the bus and now the bus has reached to the depot and now you will you will search for the uh, uh, this sulab sochalay or the public toilet you will uh, search for 
and you are going to urinate, uh, urinate now because the toilet is available to you okay so uh, now what uh, what you are going to do so if it is if it is timely to urinate signal from the cerebrum inhibit sacral neurons okay so that keep external sphincter close okay <coughs> so so as the uh, sacral neurons sacral neuron see once again signal from the cerebrum inhibit sacral neuron and sacral neuron that keep external sphincter close but now the sacral neurons are inhibited so what is going to happen external urethral sphincter is going to relax okay so now this sphincter is going to relax and you are going to void the urine you are going to urinate because now the sphincter you are voluntarily you are rela relaxing this sphincter okay so i am showing you all the points this entire figure okay now let me show you all the figures and you can prepare the topic from this uh, figure also see one two three four and five points okay to reach them. now see structure of the urinary bladder and urethra okay uh, on left hand side male right hand side female Now this is the concept map of control of micturition. This figure, ureter, urinary bladder, urethra in the female. Okay, then this figure, comparison between male and female urethras. Urinary bladder. Okay. figure urethra micturition so with this we have completed this discussion on micturition i hope you have enjoyed this lecture and i also hope that this lecture is helpful in your exam preparation and also in your studies my name is manish koshti sir i am from ahmedabad india bye bye namaste